Hello everyone and welcome back to the Business Caselet, where we take a look at little bits of business to try to leave our sessions a little more understanding about the business that surrounds us. There are a ton of educational shows that teach business directly. The Profit and The Shark Tank are two of my favorites. But what about shows that have a business undertone? Maybe even something that kids and adults too can love. Yep, that's right. Today we're talking about Disney. Welcome to the first Business Caselet episode in the Disney series. If you're new here to the Business Caselet, we take a look at little bits of business to try to leave our sessions a little more understanding about the business that surrounds us. And what better way to do that than by looking into a story that we all know and love, The Princess and the Frog. I personally love this movie because while yes, it's a classic Disney princess story, the overarching message is entirely different. Tiana doesn't spend her childhood dreaming of a prince that will come swoop her off her feet. No, she spends her childhood, youth, and young adult life imagining, planning, and saving up to make her dream of opening a restaurant with her daddy a reality. She puts her actions behind her craft shares her skill with her community, and builds her brand around her end goal. All core markings of a successful entrepreneur. But what are those steps or moments that led Tiana through her successful entrepreneurial journey? Let's take a look at three key ingredients that got her there. Her first step was realizing and developing her product of interest. Her second step was branding her idea and herself. And her third step was funding and getting going. First, let's talk about her product. When Tiana realized she had perfected her gumbo, she called the neighborhood together and shared her product. The public's feedback gave her proof of concept for her product's quality and taste. They called it the best gumbo they've ever tasted. Later in our hero's journey, we see Tiana win a big beignet contract, driven by her client's desire to impress a foreign prince. That's a strong statement about Tiana's beignets. Second, we have Tiana's brand vision. Tiana created a branded name, Tiana's Place, and she created signage and imagery. And when she found her dream location that fit her brand vision, she created a daydreaming mood board to share it. When she showed her mama the new location, her mama couldn't really visualize it. Tiana could see it, but mama had to be shown. In that moment, Tiana shared a view into her daydreaming mood board and we were sold. These are all key elements to creating a cohesive brand. Of course, what is an entrepreneurial venture without funding behind it? Well, it's sadly just a dream. But Tiana didn't have just a dream, she had drive. Tiana started saving up in what she called her restaurant fund since she was little. All the while, her brand story never wavered. Always Tiana's place. So there you have it. Three core elements that we see Tiana focus on throughout her entrepreneurial journey. Her product, her brand, and her funding. At the end of our story, Tiana does become a princess, but the final scene shows her giving her hard-earned cash to the realty office. Because first and foremost, on the entrepreneurial level, investments don't just walk along from a prince or other with no strings attached. And second, on the Disney level, Tiana did not need a prince to make her dreams come true. Before we sign off, I'd love to leave you with two cautionary tales. Throughout the journey, we see Tiana resist pressures to stray from her entrepreneurial course. Whether in her friends trying to distract her or her peers joking she'll never save enough. We see her outbid for her dream location the day she would have earned enough to secure it herself. And we see her turned into a frog and totally derailed from her foreseeable future. This goes to show that entrepreneurship is oftentimes a lonely journey and you must have persistence and be targeted with your efforts to get where you're going. Our second cautionary tale is about the shadow man. At the end of the movie, we see the shadow man, another entrepreneur of sorts, end up in a position where he can't pay back his own debt. In this case, we see a warning. The right type of debt matters and it's important not to over leverage your venture, even when there's some temptation to cut some corners. The moral of this story, this Disney story, and this little business caselet is that entrepreneurship is a difficult and oftentimes lonely road, but with concentration, determination, and a clear, never wavering, but yes, evolving brand story, you'll be almost there. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe below, and I'll see you in the next one.